From Black Rifle Coffee to checking out the shops in Bernie, Texas, to simply enjoying the hill country by taking county roads en route to our stay at Oxford Ranch. I'm going to take you along for the ride with some of my buddies on a simple one-nighter trip with our overland rigs. Let's go! Hello everybody, welcome to Road to Manhood. We are gonna do a quick little day trip. We came out to Black Rifle Coffee. We're about to just kind of hang out here at Bernie and then go camp out at Oxford Ranch. Let's go check it out. Black Rifle Coffee has quickly made its way to my number one coffee spot. Not only for its amazing coffee, consistently awesome customer service and great merchandise, but also for its veteran origins and proud love for this country. I mean, coffee, cigars, and guns? Yes, all day, er day. Bernie, Texas has that small town charm and we soaked it all up. From kid and dog friendly fairs to hopping around, shop to shop, and join all the local talent and craft beer. All right guys, we are done with Bernie. Nice little shops here. This guy was a little too crazy, but he's still a pup, so I appreciate my buddies being a little tolerant. <laughs> Just throw him off at yeah, I'm bye. just kidding. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna take off right now to uh, Fredericksburg and then we're gonna head out to the Rams. Inside of you ready, baby? Let's do it. Let's do it. As many of you know, there are not many public off road trails here in Texas, but as we were out looking for them, we make the best of it by tasking Jeremy, our route leader, to find some obscure county roads with his fancy pants toy leading us to our destination. Though nothing challenging, it ended up being really nice. Check it out. Alrighty guys, we officially arrived at Oxford Ranch. We're about to go find ourselves a little spot and then go check it out. We made it, we took a couple kind of roads, it's kind of chill. Uh, we're about to set up camp and start barbecuing and enjoy the rest of the day. What's pretty cool about Oxford Ranch is that they have a ton of space here, it's like 100 plus acres, but they have restrooms. Um, so it's kind of a perfect mix between like an RV site and an opportunity for, no, for you to like bring your overland rigs. Makes a great stop um, if you're going place to place or if you want to kind of do the county roads, maybe go um, explore in China Rock, do a hike there and then come back and um, set up camp. Something good that we have here in, in Texas. So if y'all want to check it out, recommend it. It's pretty chill. They have some overnight expos here as well that is starting to grow. Um, so we'll, we'll be out here often. After exploring the lay of the land, we find ourselves a good little spot to call home for the night. Even though it was just a one-nighter, we brought out all the goods just in case we needed them. Turns out we did, so it worked out really well. Once everybody was fully settled in, it was time for some lunch. So I went ahead and cut up some goods and started on some good old-fashioned burgers, boy! Robert and Vanessa will later on for dinner have some fajitas that were just scrumptious. After Jeremy heroically saved Donatello from impending doom and the dogs got the ball thrown for them for the millionth time, it was time to settle down for some good conversation, ice cold beer, and strategically towering tender for a fire and the toasty chocolate s'mores to come. Yes, those long week trips are super awesome, and even though trips like Moab and the Smoky Mountains are on the horizon, sometimes all you really need is a one nighter to get re energized. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to be a part of the Road to Manic community. Feel free to check out some more videos right now.